SHIF is at least sorted out. It's been quite problematic for the whole month. And um, there's an issue of the fact that health is actually a default service, a default function. And uh, all these things is being, are being controlled from the, a centralized national level. Whether that contributes to the kind of delays in transition, I do not know. You've both served at the counties, uh, county levels. Um, early this week, the president talked about the kind of criticism that the government is receiving. And one of the major criticism is on its handling of the transition from NHIF to SHIF. The president says it's pure propaganda. Yet, uh, people are dying. People are unable to uh, access treatment because of the delays in transition. We've, been, we've taken a whole 30 days and there are still problems uh, with this transition. Wakili, where is the problem? This is something we've discussed for over a year, the expected transition from NHIF to SHIF. Uh, is it really propaganda when people are saying they cannot receive treatment? We are seeing this is when money is being released and uh, demands are being given to county commissioners to ensure that patients receive service. <laughs> um, maybe a quick answer to that is that um, this is where you saw during the public participation for the impeachment proceedings of uh, the then Deputy President, His Excellency Rigathe Gashagwa, you could find this issue finding itself in, into those conversations. Whereby a common theme across the Republic was, this is a non-issue, this is not an important issue, this is not a priority issue, there are more pressing issues of national concern, and the transition to Shifsha was always finding its way in, at the top. That's what I picked across the Republic. Mm -hmm. That was a bipartisan issue. So number one, I would encourage the president to see that line, that it was not coincidental that in every platform across the Republic, the conversation around uh, uh, NHIF to Shif or Shah uh, kind of became an emotive issue to people, even beyond the economic problems. That kind of was a single, a policy issue that even at the, uh, at the remotest part of the country, people are aware, that's one. Number two, look at the debate around this transition. It's not about the benefits per se, it's not about whether it's the right thing or not, but it's, it's a question of workability. Had the Ministry of Health and the team done their homework before the rollout? Had they done public sensitization? Because from my side of divide, um, as, a, as a governance uh, commentator or someone who follows closely on governance, there's a thin nexus between putting people in the space of accepting a change and just ramming in a change and assuming people will get along. For such an issue that has huge public interest and has direct effect on individual person, even if not you per se, you are people, especially look at the people within the renal uh, side of the health fraternity, dialysis and water view. For them, it's a personal thing. And there was an appreciation that NHIF, having been there for more than 20, 30, 40 years, had kind of got it right with the procedures and the teething problems until it worked. Now, I find that the health him and I estimated the need for public sensitization. Such a national rollout, especially a complete shift to a new system, if you ask me, needed six months of online as well as mainstream media sensitization and public campaigns down to the villages. Just like the way we do voter registration, voter sensitization. Why do we do that? Because you need to put the people in that mind shift. That did not happen. Number two, I also feel the ministry or the team did not do enough of piloting at the local level because health is a thing. And being a speaker, this is where the quagmire is. I'm not getting the voice of the counties. Yet health is a county devolved function. It has now just been left to the Ministry of Health and the national government. That for me is even an indictment. One on the part of the Council of Governors as well as county governments, but at the same time the Senate has to speak up. Why, this is a county issue. Why is it that the Ministry of Health is shouldering the blame or is seem to be the only one carrying out this? Then there seems to be a breakdown. There seem not to be a nexus between the two levels of government on this issue. Yet health is a devolved function. So for me, not enough 
uh, not enough nexus was put into place that can bring together the two levels of government because the county governments have the bulk of the primary health care facilities up to level five and county referral hospitals. The national government only has the level six, which in this case is the national referrals, which are a few, but the, the bulk of it are down here. So why don't we see that conversation? And importantly, I would think um, the ministry officials or the president uh, delivery. I, I can't blame presidents much because the president deals with the report he gets from his people. The people have to be honest because you juxtapose the real human life stories that are coming vis-a-vis -vis their, you don't actually in communication. The, the question arises it goes, then, it does goes have off, the right play, uh, people? That's what I'm saying. It goes off for <laughs> your people to just tell you blanketly <laughs> that everything is okay. I would rather a nuanced communication mm -hmm. and say this is a good thing. We promised it was a signature move. We have teething problems. In fact, people are refusing the RT thing. Say, 30 we, days ha later, we have, problems. oh, it will take some time because the NHIF had done 30, 40 years. Yes. This one is only two months. The problems are not coming to an end anytime soon. But confront the problem real time and say, okay. yes, this is the problem. This is what we're going to do. There are obvious administrative issues here, like yes. uh, uh, Treasury now releasing money to pay pending bills for NHIF, which has been